Hey everyone, welcome back to Caleb the Video Maker 2. This video is going to be a little bit special because we are actually going to be creating our very own compliment machine. <laughs> this video is dedicated to those looking for love. Well, don't worry about other people. Psh. You know, computers are way more predictable and you can tell them to say whatever they want. Forget all those jerky guys and them mean girls. Just this is this is getting weird. Okay, let's just let's just get started. So we are going to create a new application and we are going to make kind of like a modified hello world that tells us our name and gives us a compliment. So let's say Vim and we'll call this compliment machine. You can capitalize it however you want. It's totally up to you. Just know that Linux is case sensitive. So this and this with a lowercase c are completely different. So let's go in here and go into insert mode using I and then say include standard io.h int main da -da, return zero, perfect. Now I guess we'll just start with a normal hello world, right? That would be a good place to start. Hello world. And instead of world, we could actually put our name in here and we'll break down to the new line after that. Now let's compile and let's run it. You can see that it works. It even says our name. Oh, it's so personal, but it's not good enough. So let's improve it. I'm going to talk about how to put strings inside of these quotes without directly typing them because we want to start separating what's in our code and what should be imputed in our code or inputted or inserted, however you want to think about it. <laughs> so sort of how when we started with numbers, we would get numbers from the user and then output them to the screen. Well, we want to do the same thing here. So to start, I want to teach you a new format or conversion character. And that conversion character is actually percent %s. And that is for string. So what is a string? A string, it's a sequence of characters where a character is just anything you can type on the keyboard or like a new line, tab, and all that good stuff. So each one of these is a character. A space is a character. A period is a character. A string is when you put all of those in a sequence using quotes like this. Hello. You can see here we're actually passing in a string to the printf function, and that is called our format string. Well, what I want to actually do is pass in another string into this string into the percent %s location. So we need to pass in another argument. So let me get rid of this junk. And we'll go in here, add a comma, and now we need to add something into this function. So what do we want to add? Well, let's just make it work just like it was by passing in our name. And also we will put the exclamation mark right here. So take a good look at that, make sure you understand it, see how it works and then we will run it and make sure it works just like we were hoping. You can see that it works exactly the same and make sure you recompile it so we're actually getting new results. This app is pretty cool so far, but I wanna take it a step farther and actually ask the user for their name and then output it. So let's go back into our code. And now this might be new to you, but just look at the syntax and familiarize yourself with it and it'll start to make some sense. We need to create something called an array. And we will discuss arrays in a lot of detail in the future. But essentially, since a string is just a sequence of characters, you can see here just each one of these is a character, we could put each one of these in what's known as a character array. So to do that, let's go into main, go to a new line, and we are going to say char name, which is the variable name. You can name it whatever you want. You can name it Taco Bell. You can name it McDonald's, you can name it spaghetti, you can name it corduroy pillows, which by the way, there's a new one out and it's making headlines. Basically, you can make it whatever you want. We're going to go with name because that's what it's going to store. The next thing you do is put square brackets. Inside of those square brackets, we are going to say how many characters are allowed. So my name's Caleb, it takes up five characters. So what is like the longest name you can think of? <laughs> that is what you're going to want to consider. So I think 30 would probably be a good number of characters. But there's a little trick here. You have to have one more extra than the total you want to allow. So if I want your name to be up to 30 characters, I'm going to put a 31. And the reason that is, is because strings need a character at the end to say the string is over. And that is called the null terminator. 
and it looks like a backslash and a zero. All right, let's get rid of this comment and start working some more on our code. Oh, now for the fun part. How do we get this value from the user? Well, as always, we are going to use scanf, and inside of scanf, you are going to use percent %s. And as always, you need to put those in double quotes. That is our conversion character that we are going to use, which makes sense because we're expecting a string. The next thing is we're going to use the variable name. And this is where things get kind of confusing. <laughs> You're actually not going to use the address of operator. So you just put the variable name as is. If you had an integer variable, like int x, for example, when you wanted to pass that into scanf to get a value for it, you always have to do the ampersand and then the variable. But when we're talking about arrays, you don't do that. And all of that will make a lot of sense when we start talking about arrays in the future. But for now, this is the exception to the rule. Make sure you don't put the address of operator. Now, inside of the printf, we can just use that variable. Instead of Caleb here, we can pass in the variable here. Let's get rid of this, and we will put name. Let's run it and give it a try. Okay, so it's asking us for a name, but we forgot to put a prompt. So we'll want to do that, but let's put Caleb. And you can see it's working, which is kind of cool. Let's go back in our code and improve it. Let's first give a prompt. So up here, maybe right here, we could say, you know, we might as well make our compliment machine a big jerk like every other guy in the world. <laughs> All right, now let's run it. Yo, girl, enter your name. And there's something weird here. You actually can't use spaces. So if you wanted to do that, you would want to take first name, last name, separately. So if you did like Sally Bob, it's only going to say, hello, Sally. And the last thing is, don't forget, we have to put a compliment in here. There we go. I think our app is complete. Yo, girl, enter your name. Sally Bob. Hello, Sally Bob. You look very nice today. So yeah, guys, this is how you make a compliment machine in C programming. Hopefully that's helpful for all your <laughs> lack of relationships. I don't know. <laughs> If you've enjoyed this video, please click like, and in the next video, we are going to be talking about using functions in C, and that is so huge, so make sure you check that out, guys. Peace, and I'll see you then.